this is Dabby and welcome to a Let's Play on Dreams. In today's video, I'm going to be checking out a bunch of levels that have been created for me. Uh, they're all using the, the theme of balls, so some sort of like marble games, football games and stuff. I haven't checked any of them out yet, I will be doing that in a moment. Uh, sadly, I haven't made my own game. Uh, basically, like I, try, I spent ages trying to make a pinball game and I realised that... I just couldn't do it. I just I just wasn't good enough. I just don't know the mechanics well enough. I've just been too busy. I haven't had the time just to spend loads of time just kind of playing around with the, the mechanics and stuff. So I will do in the future. Uh, but I've decided for now, uh, the most productive uh, use of my time is to show uh, things that better creators have been able to, to make. So right then, uh, let's jump in. First one by Turtle Boy J. This is called Stampy's Ball Race. So let's go and uh, jump in and, uh, and play this one. Uh, they have actually updated the game a bunch uh, since the last time I played. And oh! Oh, this is cool. Am I am I in control? I am in control. And that's an amazing Stampy Cat they've made there. And oh, I think if I just don't press anything. Oh, no, they're squishy. Oh, no. I, I fell off. I fell off. I've, oh, no, I missed loads of it. <laughs> uh, can I look back up? What happens if I drop off? Will it put me... Um Will it put me back to the, the top and will I have a chance to, to do uh, another go? But yeah, I have seen so... Nope, I'm just going to keep on dropping forever. Let's do that again. Let's do that again because I missed a load of that uh, because I was too eager. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they've added um, uh, things you can unlock new types of imps and uh, basically uh, new kind of templates for different types of games and some new tutorial stuff. And one of them seemed to be a game that was all about rolling uh, a ball around. Uh, so maybe that would be uh, something that uh, would be good for, for me to, to check out. <laughs> I'm assuming this is a, a blinking fizzy elephant down there. Uh, thanks for playing! And now I can jump off again. Okay, I have seen it all. Thank you so much for that, Turtle Boy! Uh, let's go and uh, back out here. Uh, this is by uh, Yellow Crocus One. Uh, obstacle course by A and L for Stampy. Right then, let's go and uh, jump into to this obstacle course. And uh, let's see what I'm, I'm going to be doing in it. Right then. I have taken possession of this character. I love it when there's always just like a load of people following you. Oh, there is a ball. There is a ball inside of the, the game. So they have met the requirements <laughs> for what I wanted to do. I know, I think this is where I'm meant to go. I think there's like a giant like staircase that they've like smeared all of the way up here. And I can just about, just about bounce my way up to the top of it. Look how steep it, can I make it up there? It's, it's starting to get much steeper. Have my, how have my friends fared? Are they... Oh look, I can just see some heads poking. Yeah, they they can't do it. They don't have the uh, the crazy awesome parkour skills that I have, and they're not able to to make it up here. But I think this might be where um where my journey's gonna end because I'm struggling to make it up these stairs, and then it just goes like pretty much straight up here. And I think this just isn't gonna happen, is it? This just is not gonna happen. Nope. Let's just let's go back down here and join my uh, and join my friends then, shall we? All the way back down to the bottom. It looks like there's some uh, more stuff to to jump around on uh, down here as well. But we can't spend too long in each game, so let's go and switch over to the next one. This is called uh, Fraggle Rock Football. This is by Octo Minion. So uh, let's go and jump in and uh, and play. Uh, there's a chance this game wasn't made for me, um, but I did just search for Stampy. So there it is. Oh, is this meant? To, is this meant to be me? And is that meant to be Squid? Do you reckon? Or am I just like? making assumptions. Let's just play it as that way and let's see if I can beat him at, at, at football. Right, <laughs> right, go. I love the way I run. I can jump. Can I like kick? Okay, nope. I don't know if I can kick. I think I just like need to, to run into the ball. Right, Squid doesn't seem to be putting on a, a great defense. So let's just go and try and take my time and see if I can get it into the goal. And let's see if anything happens. This is just about as good a, a, a football as I am in real life. Or soccer, if you're American. Right, let's see if I can... <laughs> this is, it's a really, really light bouncy ball. So you know when you used to like play football? Or oh, still do play football. And then your friend has like the really rubbish, like light plasticky ball that you kick and it just goes all over the place. It's like playing football with that. Oh, nearly. Is it going to go in? And it went in. Oh, I wanted some like I wanted some sparks or confetti. <laughs> That's my my one recommendation. Seeing as how difficult it is to score a goal, I want I want something to happen when I score. I want I, I don't know. I want the whole thing just to explode in celebration. <laughs> that was cool though. I mean, just building that pitch in the whole arena and stuff. That was a uh, pretty uh, pretty impressive. Right then, this is called uh, Star oh, Book Ball. Uh, that was by Octo Minion. I can't remember if I shouted them out. Yeah, but this one's by uh, Sean Roman, uh, and it's called Book Ball. If you don't know Book Ball, uh, it was from. Um, was it Race to the Moon? This is in the game! Oh, 
So, that sound you can hear in the background, that is actually in the game. So, it was in, I think it was Race to the Moon. It was a series where we were, I was sliding a book around the floor and I made a book ball tournament. And you had to try and get the, the book into the, the goal. And they've made it inside of dreams. This is incredible. Look at the way I run. I don't even move my legs. They just kind of hop up and down a little bit as I slide around the place. That is incredible. And it looks like this might actually be one that you could do a uh, do two player as well. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much how the, the books uh, slid around in that. I think they've got no chance. I don't know if that book could even fit inside of these goals, but that was amazing. So you can use like your, um, I think you have to use like the, the camera. Uh, to, as, a, as a mic and you can kind of record your, your own sounds. They also just recorded from the YouTube video. What a cool idea. All right, then. This one's by uh, CT Build It YouTube. Uh, Bull Obstacle Cause for Stampy. So let's go and uh, jump her inside of this one. The picture doesn't give much away. And, ah, they're going for a top-down camera. And I lo it looks like I need to get the ball to the end. I kind of, oh, I can bounce. Okay, so let's bounce up to, to here. Oh, I like the music. I can go around to the, the side here. Go around and drop down, and I did it! Get to the exit. Oh, they've done multiple levels as well! This is cool. This is- Oh! I can't move up there. I'm holding up, but there's like- It's like there's an invisible wall. Or is it like sloped? Do I need to go like- Oh! No, I can move. Oh, are the controls like the other way around? What's going on? This is really weird. Oh! Oh, I've got- I'm pressing down. Yeah, oh, the controls are different. The controls are the wrong way round. I think from the way the camera was, like the direction I was pressing to push, it was going in another way. I know I just looked really, really bad at that, but trust me, that was uh, that was weird. And sorry, I haven't been thumbing them up. Thumbsings? Thumbsings? <laughs> thumbsings would be a good name for a character. Mr. Thumbsings. I haven't been thumbing up <laughs> the games. Anyway, uh, this is by Octo Minion again. They made... Which one did they make? Oh, they made the uh, the Fraggle Rock football as well. Uh, this one's called Stampy Cat in Bullland. So, so let's go and uh, uh, jump into to this one. And let's see, do I, do I possess Stampy? I don't know if I can. Oh, yeah, I can possess Stampy. Right, let's uh, possess Stampy. A rather fancy looking Stampy as well. And it's just kind of like endlessly firing out the, the balls. It's like a ball emitter. Uh, there's glowing mushrooms. Ah, and then, of course, uh, there's a gold at the end. It's like we're surrounded by, like, waves as well. Do you reckon I've got any chance of getting this uh, this ball down to that goal? Like, I struggled in, like, the giant football pitch. There's no way I'm not going to knock this ball off the edge. At least it's a little bit light. It's kind of too heavy, this one. This is from when your friend brought around the ball that was made of lead that you try to play football with. I can't even move it. I can't even move it. This is a, a cool-looking world, though. So, yeah, thank you so much uh, for doing that, uh, Octo Minion. So, there are the, the games. I'm going to do a quick search in, woo, in, um, uh, in Dream Shaping, uh, just to see if there's any, like, kind of... Ones that people didn't finish creating that I can be nosy and just kind of uh, check out what they they made. So let me do a, a quick search here. Uh, so I can do this quickly. Uh, I'll cut ahead. I'll cut ahead. Okay, I did a search and there's a, a whole load of stuff here. Uh, none of it's like properly put online yet. So uh, I don't know like whether they're finished or not. I just don't want to play them too much in case they're they're not done. I might just go and uh, uh, just check out one or two of them uh, just while we're looking through here. Uh, oh. Uh, I love you, Stampy, from Barnaby. Oh, is this made by Barnaby? Or is that just Barnaby saying it? Uh, we left a lovely world uh, to see you, Polly Reindeer. Cookies, busy elephant. Uh, follow the parkour path, William Beaver. Remember, don't forget about us, Duncan. Uh, right, let's uh, go and have a, a roller around. Uh, welcome to Stampy's lovely ball. Parkour starts here. Uh, congratulations, you have beat the trick. Oh, I haven't I haven't beat it yet. Let's, uh, let's not jump ahead. Oh, this is cool. So they've made... Oh! The ball is much more bouncy <laughs> than I first thought it would be. And oh no, now I'm just going to fall down endlessly. Right, let's go. Let's go restart that. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to do this. So yeah, I can jump from a little bit further back. And that was okay. And they made like giant Minecraft dirt blocks for me to, to try and bounce along. And then there's one of Fizzy's cookies, I'm assuming here. And then Barnaby's dinner. Then some cheese, some Luna cheese from the Luna friends. And then, is that like a pie and a burger? And I nearly fell off. <laughs> but I was able uh, to complete the uh, the tricky parkour. Oh, that was awesome. So glad I got to check that out. Check that, out. that was by Copycat789. Uh, uh, so let's go and uh, jump back here. Stampy and the Chimpanzee Ball Land by K Henrix 2824 What is this going to be? I think this is just going to be a crazy one. I think this is just going to be a ridiculous thing. Okay, there's a chimpanzee. 
I know there's loads of them. That scared me then. And then there's balls everywhere. And the chimpanzees are going to be following me. And there's a few stamp because what are those ones doing? They're like lurking behind the trees. And then there's just loads of balls all over the, the place here. <laughs> well, I mean, this is really quite sad. What's this one? Oh, uh, there was a uh, one like one of the balls was like above like the chimpanzee's head. And I thought it was like a, a weird like pumpkin one on its head. But oh god, look at their faces. <laughs> They're kind of cute, but also quite terrifying. They're all like different size ones as well. Right then, that was um that was quite the experience. <laughs> uh, and then there's like, oh, there's loads of these here. So what I'll do is I won't, oh, there's like a don't pop the ball game. I won't check these out yet. If you want me to like check them out when they're finished, uh, I'm talking to all the creators here. If you like kind of publish them so they're in like the, the dream surfing area, then I'll go and check them out. So I don't want to play them unless they're like completely finished. So if you want me to play any of those ones, uh, add them, uh, you know, put them here so they're going to show up with the, the rest of these here. Uh, but yeah, right then, they're all of the, the ball games that I wanted to, to check out. And uh, let's just go and just see kind of what's what's new in the, the dream first because it has been a, a few weeks since like, I last played. Uh, so normally we can see kind of some of the the best stuff uh, appear around here So let's just go and have a, a bit of a scroll through and see what takes our fancy the real sonic hedgehog I'm sorry. Oh, I can kind of see already what this uh, <laughs> this thing's gonna be. This looks ridiculous Why are there so many like weird sonic games made in dreams like you want to be a bunch of merry ones and oh <laughs> There's a huge knuckles there. Oh is he chasing me? Oh, no, he's just he's just going for a run I'm just, I'm just rolling my way along here as Sonic, not going particularly fast, and <laughs> oh dear, oh, I've nearly completed the level. It was a tricky level, but I think I've just about made it to the end. I oh, know it keeps going. It keeps. No, I'm done. I'm tapping out of this one. I don't want to play anymore because I know this is gonna like invade my dreams and become a nightmare. So I'm gonna jump out of that. Uh, Comic Sans is this like a game around like the font Comic Sans? It's a surreal odyssey through different dimensions in which you'll literally evolve from 2D to 3D. Cool. Although this is made by uh, Media Molecule. Uh, this is made by the the people who made the the game. So uh, we expect a certain level uh, of quality of production, which you're going to to see here. And uh, yeah. It's called Comic Sans. Uh, it seems like uh, it was saying underneath that it's going to be as like um, it was done as some sort of like uh, like game jam. Uh, a game jam is basically where uh, the developers have like a a very short amount of time to make like uh, kind of very small games. Uh, but it's a great idea just to kind of uh, a great way to come up with like just cool ideas for something new. So it looks like we're starting off here as a little square bouncing along. Uh, but it looks like as we play. Kind of the game is going to gradually evolve, and this is actually would be a um a great per like a great game to show someone who wants to know what dreams is, which I guess was maybe the the point because it can kind of show you all of like the the different art styles and the the different things that you can uh, you can have. And I now have legs. A uh, oh, hello, hello, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Just popped in. Oh, I can double jump. I'm, I'm glad I can double jump because I hadn't tested that out and if I couldn't double jump, I would have fallen straight down. They're much more forgiving with the, the platforming than uh, some of the levels that were made uh, from me. I know, was it just started again? Okay, I think it's just started from the, the beginning. So a lot of these levels, like they're, they're linked to, together and maybe that was just the, the first part of it. Uh, right, let's just go and have a, a scroll through the Great Maze. Oh, is that like a, I, can't, I don't want to play this whole one. Because mazes always seem like a fun idea, and then you get lost in them, and then you get really bored. So I don't know if I want to do the, the whole thing, but I kind of just want to have a look around. Oh, it's The Witness! So there's a game called uh, The Witness, uh, where you're kind of solving like these little puzzle mazes, where you have to like draw like um, little lines along. And uh, this one, uh, you're not drawing lines, it uh, looks like you're kind of just... You, you know, you're kind of just controlling a little dot to reach to the, the end. But I'm assuming once I solve it, it's going to open up the, the gate and there's going to be a whole bunch of puzzles uh, inside of the, the maze as well. Uh, hidden maze found. Ah, so there's like little hidden mazes all over the, the place uh, as well. Uh, this is cool. So I guess there'll be like a, a whole bunch of puzzles like this. Like This is like just a, a proper game that you could just sit down like in an afternoon and just go and play all of it. But I just wanted to mainly see that. Like that castle is incredible. Uh, I'm assuming at some point you're going to end up making your way into it or closer to it. Uh, but yeah, that would uh, take a very long time. Right then, what else we have? I've done a coin pusher before. Oh, what's this one? Kitty's Choice. Kitty wants to play, but who with? With me! Update. Semi-broke it. 
nothing game breaking. Okay. <laughs> All right then, let's go and uh, jump into to this one. Uh, is this gonna be like some sort of like Nintendo dogs type thing? But obviously Nintendo cats where you just play with a cat. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, it looks like a storm uh, is coming. Um, am, I, am I the cat? Or am I? No, I think I'm the person. Oh, you want to play? Oh, there's a cat! There's a cat! This is a very bright house, isn't it? <laughs> this is a very blindingly bright house with lots of very white walls. Where's the cat? Where's it hiding? Where's it hiding? Oh, I want to... How do I invert the control? Oh, there we go. Right, I've got to find the cat. Is it hiding in here somewhere? Can I jump or anything? I feel really short compared to the sofa. I feel like I can hardly jump up onto it. Did the cat go into the garden? Go around the side here. Hello! I found you! Oh, where are you going? Oh, come back! Come back, kitty! Come on, this is literally what I just do with my cat Ori all day long. Just chase her around the house. <laughs> I don't know how much my cat likes that. I think just running away from me, but... I, I, have good, I have good practice for this. In the shower... In the toy in the sink. That's where my cat goes. Just goes and sits in the sink and gets annoyed when you want to wash your hands. Where are you, kitty? Where are you? Hello, kitty! And the kitty is off again. I can see you. Oh, straight into to this room. I'm literally just playing hide and see with a cat. I, I literally found the cat before the cat actually finished hiding. If I back off here, I'll get... Oh, where's the cat going? I'm trying to, like, guess where the cat's going to go. And try and get a little bit ahead of it. So I'll be able to catch it as soon as it hides. Like I'm the only person who's like really strategically looking for like the best way to play hide and seek with a cat. <laughs> the cat's up again. I think I've thrown it. I've confused the cat. The cat doesn't know what it's going to do. Oh, it's gone back to... Oh no, it's not the same room. It's gone to hide in a room inside of here. Hello. Oh, really? I mean, my, my cat doesn't do that. All right. Now I need to give you a bath. <laughs> oh, has it started raining outside? Has the cat gone out in the rain? Kitty? Is it hiding behind? <laughs> I think this is literally all it is. Oh dear. Kitty chase. Don't give up. Sorry, I have given up chasing the cat. The cat was too good. Uh, Spider-Man with kind of realistic swinging. <laughs> I love the way there's like a lack of confidence in the Kind of. Not realistic. Kind of realistic. Uh, right. Uh, L2 to swing. Left side. Uh, right to right side. Uh, wall crawling is super WYP. Don't try it. WYP. Uh, I don't even know what that stands for. Uh, right, let's uh, let's go for a swing. Oh, this is actually like proper swinging. So it actually locks on to the uh, the buildings. I wonder if it can lock on to like any of them, or if there's just certain place it locks on to. This is pretty cool though. It's funny because it's like really impressive. This is made in dreams, but there was like um a really amazing uh, Spider-Man game that was released recently, which is like some of the best graphics ever in a video game. And this obviously isn't that, but it's really crazy that someone was able to to make this. Like, as I said, like I failed at trying to make a pinball game. So uh, I'm going to try the the weird wall climbing. It kind of works. It kind of works. Uh, yeah, like I couldn't even make like probably one of the most simple types of game in the world. The fact that they can make some like physics based swinging Spider-Man game. This is incredible. This is cool. All right, then let's go back at this. Let's do one more. Let's make it a good one. Let's scroll through for a bit and uh, find one that uh, we really uh, we really want to play. Uh, fight. Oh, so that's like a puzzle fighter game. Uh, there's like a Street Fighter puzzle fighter game, which is a real one. Ooh, I kind of just want to check this one. This one just looks like a, a really amazing hotel. Oh, it's um. It's the, the hotel. It's from a book called The The Shining. Uh, well, I guess probably the, the film version of it, uh, which is a, a scary film. A uh, very scary film. Don't recommend watching it. But uh, yeah, they've basically remade the uh, the hotel and they've got the uh, the soundtrack as well. Right, I don't want to walk around because I don't know if anything scary is going to pop out. And I don't think I can prepare for that. I don't want that to be the, the final thing that I play. Um, uh, Banjo Kazooie 3, Super Smash Bros, Save Prince, I mean, lots of Mario stuff here, Robot Action, Jump, Jump, Holtley. This is, this has piqued my interest. There's a cool looking character here. This is the one, the one we're going to end with. Jump, Jump, Hately. Oh, 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 I'm, oh, I'm in first person. I see, oh, I can see, like, I've got my, my cane that I've got here. All right, let's run and jump. Uh, I can't change it to inverted, which means I'm going to struggle because I'm weird and I play inverted. And it uh, looks like it's a, a pretty simple um, first person um, like parkour game. 
I feel like the uh, <laughs> the cane moves a bit fast and the, the camera is a bit shaky. Maybe if I played this for, for too long, I would uh, end up feeling a bit sick. But this feels like a game that you could really try and do speed runs on. Like if you kept playing it, you could end up like doing this really, really, really quickly if you kind of properly learn everything that you need to do. I don't know whether, are these blocks, are these going to kill me if I touch them? Are these like death blocks? I'm just going to assume that they are and try and uh, avoid them best as, as I can. And considering I'm not an inverted, I'm pretty proud of how well I'm doing here. I can't... Hmm, I can't say am I meant to go this way? Nope, I think I've just fallen off. I don't know where I'm meant to, to go here. I'm meant to go like down to the right. This is a little bit tricky. Oh, there's like a little... Is it like a little dot like here somewhere? I can kind of see it at certain angles. And oh! Well, I did know that was where I was meant to go. Okay, that was, um, that was a little bit weird. And oh! I guess that there's certain flaws I can't stand. Okay, I think it's getting a little bit, like, random now. Like, this is... Oh! Oh, wait. What's... Do, do any... Are any of these solid? Okay. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I did all right, though. Uh, up until the uh, the end, I think uh, I was able to, to do okay. But, yeah, as you can see, there's just loads and loads of, like, crazy games. Uh, so, yeah, I will be uh, coming back and uh, checking out uh, some more of these uh, at some point uh, in the, the future. Um... I think for now, uh, seeing as uh, I won't be doing any myself, I won't set any uh, any challenges for you uh, for anything to, to create. So you can have a have a have some time off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, if you did want to do any of those uh, ball games that I kind of brushed past earlier, if you do go and publish them, then I will go and uh, check them out because I don't want anyone to, to miss out. Uh, thank you to everyone who uh, did make a game and send it to me. And yeah, I'll just do another video in about a week or so. And uh, yeah, just check out some more of the uh, cool things that people have been making uh, in dreams. Uh, if there are any in particular by the way if there's any ones that you're seeing videos of or if you played your yourself and you think that i'd really like to enjoy or you'd want to see me showcase then uh, yeah just send me a message leave a comment or, or something and uh, yeah i can try and check out some uh, some specific ones uh, that yeah you think might be cool for me to, to see but yeah that's gonna be the end of this episode here thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye